Dan Deming of KKM Financial joins us now for the Trader Rundown, and we are working it in America today, so really focusing on what's going on with Americans, American jobs, and just some maybe growth areas in the stock market. What would you be playing here? Well, I tell you, when you look at the activity and you, when you look at the trends in the marketplace, the small cap sector is an area that looks very positive, and it's outperformed uh, for the better part of this year. Even when we see some weakness, you know, in some of the larger names and so with a stronger dollar, you continue to see that build. That benefits the small caps. That's a nice tailwind for them. And the economic climate in the United States appears to be structurally pretty sound and better positioned moving forward than the rest of the globe. Good to note that earlier this year we did see a lot of money scrambling into the small caps because of trade tensions. So do the small cap companies of America tend to be insulated from some of these bigger tariff issues? I do, unless you think you're going to see a slowdown globally. And, you know, but to this point, we have seen a little bit of that, and the U.S. has still been able to supersede that. And I, th I think that that theme is why you're seeing this rotation in the small caps. And somewhat, there's some insulation there. Now, I mean, if all markets have a tendency to rise and fall together. So if we do see some weakness, the small caps are typically a little bit more volatile, you know, because of the nature of the businesses. But when you see the activity, you see the cash that a lot of these multinationals have on their books, when you see the, the idea of infrastructure spending in the United States over the next couple of years, you got to think that that's ultimately going to help the companies that are based here in the United States. Well, thanks for coming on the show. Have a great day. All right. Thanks for having me, Ange. Check out businessfirstam.com to find out where to see our entire show. And don't forget to like, follow, and share Business First AM.